Today, we're talking about actually using the J6. Freebie. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Luke Dixon. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. All right, so as you can see, we are here at the computer. And you can probably see I've got Ableton Live pulled up. And that's because I want to talk about how I use the Roland J6. Like actually using it to make uh, music and not just, you know, make videos for the channel. The J6 is pretty cool on its own, and I've done several videos on it and how good I think it sounds. But in my opinion, the real power of the J6 is using it as a MIDI controller to explore chords that you wouldn't usually use with other pieces of hardware and software, so with other sounds that you might not necessarily play them. And the main way I actually use the J6 is for controlling Ableton Live. Now I do have this lovely Arturia Keylab Essential 61, shout out to them for sending me that a couple years ago. Um, and I, I do use this uh, as my primary controller for Ableton Live. Uh, I play it all the time, you know, playing the keys, playing chords, using all the features. However, my music theory knowledge is limited. Uh, I didn't go to college for music theory. Uh, I don't have a ridiculous, you know, depth of chord knowledge or anything like that. I'm just a dumb drummer. And I've talked at length before, actually, about how the J6 really helps me overcome that and lets me discover new chord types. Uh, but when I combine it with new sounds that I haven't tried before uh, via Ableton, uh, things get really interesting really fast. So the cool thing about the J6 uh, using it with a computer is that all you really need is a USB Type-C cable. Just plug this in here. There we go. Turn it on. Okay. And it's on and ready to go. So now here in Ableton, all we have to do is pull up some sort of software instrument. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up uh, Vital Synth, which is uh, one of my favorite free plugins. Uh, now you'll notice if I press uh, some of the keys here on the J6, we're good to go. Uh, now, obviously, one hand here is holding the camera, but if I wasn't, I could hold this with two hands, just like this back here. I'm also kind of away from the mic now, and I can just literally play through chords and hear how they sound and then scroll through presets in these synths and look for inspiration. Also on the J6, of course, we can turn off chord mode. Now it's just a one octave keyboard with four note polyphony. Super cool. And we can also use the built-in sequencer. All the things in the J6 function as they should. Let's hold shift and press chord. Now we can use the uh, value knob to scroll through the different chord types here uh, as we scroll through our presets in Vital Synth. So uh, let's just scroll to the next preset here. A happy ending of the world, sure. And uh, let's hold down on this uh, first key here and hear what happens. How cool is that? Now you'll notice I do have it kind of sitting on the uh, Keylab Essential 61 here, but that's uh, not even plugged in. So if I accidentally push on some of these keys, nothing is happening uh, with the Keylab. So don't worry about that. Let's switch to a different chord bank. I'm just going to pick a random one. What are we on? 89. Okay. And let's click through to a new uh, preset here. Uh, ooh, this one could be fun. A-E-A-E-O. -E -E okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? Right there, I'm just triggering this free synth plugin, uh, Vital, which uh, works with, I believe, most DAWs. I highly recommend it. And using this $200 MIDI controller, just simply plugged in via USB, and I'm making that much sound. Uh, let's go to a different preset. I'm just going to scroll through some of these here. Ceramic, that sounds interesting. 
Ooh. That's cool. Let's change our chords here. <laughs> okay, maybe not as much there. Chorusy keys. That sounds almost like a J6 preset, actually. Uh, complex electro. Whoa. Whoa. Gonna press hold. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, there is some really, really cool utility here uh, that you can access just with these two easy components, you know? I mean, come on. Let's actually uh, give us a little bit of attack there. Amazing! It's so cool, especially if you don't have a ton of chord knowledge, like I said, like I don't. It really just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Uh, the outro music for this year for the channel was uh, made on the J6 in Ableton, I believe the day I got the J6. I just plugged it in via USB and went for it. Also, it should be noted that changing octaves on the J6 is also really easy still. It's just a shift and then a C sharp and D sharp for octave up and down. So octave up, there we go. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so you can also turn on uh, the style and variation mechanic on the J6. And then use the styles and variations here. To create patterns. Let's find something that sounds crazy. There we go. like the Imperial March. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of... Okay. <laughs> you get the idea. It's just endless amounts of experimentation until you find something that inspires you using different chords and variations or rhythms with whatever sounds you happen to like. Uh, let's see what digestive trauma sounds like if we go to chord bank 57 with the variations on. Maybe not super inspiring. All right, here's a wacky one, FM drum circle. Ooh, let's go down two octaves. Yeah. That's super cool. See what I mean? I would have never come up with something like that on my own. In fact, I kind of want to record it. Let's do it. Okay, now we'll just uh, take that clip and... Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Just like that, I now have some inspiration to get started on a pattern or even a full track. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I feel like I've done a lot of praising of the J6, but I haven't really showcased how I actually use it off camera to, you know, make uh, real music. Uh, it is a very, very musical controller, and I absolutely adore it. And uh, yeah, I'm really thinking it's going to be a permanent part of uh, my setup for the foreseeable future because it's... Uh, Really inspirational to me, and I, I just uh, really can't see myself not having it by my side ready to go at a moment's notice. I do hope you found this video informative, or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too, doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.